This is the Liquid Logic Sweet Ride. I have had this for maybe around about a month, putting it through its paces. This is one of their first ones out of the mold. This is a 100% production boat. It just does not have the graphic on it because at the time of this video, they didn't have the graphics. But I will throw the graphic up on the screen right now. It's like a bear riding in the back of a car with Sweet Ride over it. I think it looks cool. You know, Liquid Logic has always done really cool graphics. Look at like boats like the Alpha. I really like that Liquid Logic kind of goes above and beyond to make a very detailed, cool looking graphic. So good job on that. This boat just currently does not have it, but it's offered in three color options, gold, shark blue, and venom. And it looks like they just do multi, I mean, solid colors. They're doing no multi colors yet. And at the time of this video, it comes in at $13.99. So going over the Sweet Ride specs, it comes in at nine foot as far as overall length, 26.5 on width and its widest point, 72 gallons of volume. And the paddler weight range is 120 to 240 pounds on a weight range. That is a wide weight range on a boat, by the way. And, the re and there's been no talks of a small or large. When you're carrying it around, overall carry weight of it on your shoulder is 46 pounds. And the reason they can do that, because they just have a seat and track that are roto molded and everything else is a foam pillar with a very thin bulkhead in. so what does liquid logic have on that what do they say about the boat it's a high performance river running with a side of play which i think is exactly what it is and it's one of these boats that will kind of boof down on pretty much boof off of anything has a carving edge when you need it so by the way, you can splat this thing. You can get it going over pretty much everything with a bow rocker that it has on it and kind of like doing tellies and spinning around and splat, stern squirts. Tearing up the eddy lines is about what they wanted this for. This is not a traditional downriver like full on half slice for splatting, setting on your tail, spinning around everywhere. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and I'll do a quick walk through. I won't be long with this guys. I'll just kind of like start my way in the stern and work my way up on this. So starting back here at the stern, check this shape out. You can see how wide this shape is and it has a somewhat of a swallow tail design like the RMX, but not as aggressive but they did see what worked on that boat and they kind of wanted to stay with it. They carry these edges out long on each side and it's nice and flat with a kicked up rocker. And I measured the rocker back here and it come in a little over 11 inches of rocker here, which is a lot for a half slice. Traditionally, half slices want to have their tails low for engaging and doing a lot of spins and stern stalls and splats and all that. Liquid Logic did something a little different with the Sweet Ride. They went a little higher with it and widened and flattened it out, which went, as soon as I seen this, what that tells me is that they wanted more of like a river running half slice instead of a downriver splat everything stand looking at the sky the whole time. Uh, moving on up, you know, you can see the drain plug placement here. Does this boat even need a drain plug? You guys leave in the comments if you think it needs a drain plug. Other manufacturers have proved you don't need a drain plug in a boat like this, but you know what? More power to them for doing it really well. There's another manufacturer, I won't name any names, that put a drain plug right in the handle that's very, it's a riveted in or screwed in type drain plug, and it's in the way when that when you're grabbing right here. But check out what Liquid Logic did. Their drain plug is nicely recessed down. I don't know if you can see this but look how recessed down. It just barely touches right there. And it's a rubber drain plug. It's not made out of hard plastic, so it won't get broken and come off. It's like out of the way. Personally, I don't even think you need it at all. And it does drain. I did try to drain this boat and it will have a little bit of water, but you can see how thin that is right there. It does work. So enough about the drain plug. Moving on to the handle. I love Liquid Logic's handles there and they have a big wide insert on the bottom. It takes thousands of pounds to pull these aluminum grab handles out. Good job on that. And they have one of the largest screw heads in the industry. If you look around, security bolts. These are not Allen head screws. You need a, a special type of bit to get those out. There will be a graphic here. I did cover the graphic. It's Sweet Ride graphic. Uh, molded in wall holder. You can see that Liquid Logic always does this. They don't screw their walls in. They do a molded in top wall wall holder that kind of holds the wall in place and they put a graphic on the top of it kind of cool that they did that i like that big volume right here and that's what makes this super stable and more of a river runner instead of being really thin they didn't carry that thinness up they bulk they made this kind of bulgous right back here behind your hips 
Very nice that they did that because that gives it more stability on edge. And what I had found, the stability is more of a secondary stability instead of initial stability, meaning that it, it feels like it's gonna go over, but it kind of catches with you. It kind of goes like that and then bounces back up. And I think what's doing that is how rounded they drop this down. You can see that it comes down. It doesn't come down straight. It kind of curls under right there. And that's what gives it good secondary stability over its initial stability. Outfitting's the standard badass outfitting. Adjustable seat, you, these two bolts here, these two bolts here. You're gonna loosen those up. Don't take them all the way out, just loosen them up. Kick your seat forward and back. I did paddle this all the way back, all the way forward. I had found for me, dead center works perfect back band right there i do try to pull my back band up higher adjustable hip pads right here you can see those i like you know what liquid logic it's the same outfitting that's been in a lot of their boats they did just upgrade their fabric better fabric a little cleaner throughout but it's been the same forever adjustable thigh braces here these two bolts you can go back and forth i usually go all the way back to one finger where i can get one finger into the ratchet very solid works fine i've got my level six throw rope right there in the front I always carry that in front of me water bottle holder here bulkhead it's a bulkhead plate down in the bottom one screw adjustment you lean it back do you need two screws i don't know that's debatable to me another big grab handle here for safety for grabbing a hold of locking into tying down to your car another grab handle here this bow is somewhat like the rmx look at this bow shape interesting that they went with that it's almost like once again they found something that worked and they stayed with it rocker in the front is up to 16 inches of rocker in the front which is almost identical to the RMX. Found this boat's really comfortable to paddle. I had no issues paddling it all day long. And I've had it on a lot of different runs and it's been super comfortable for me. So yeah, that's the deck and outfitting. Let's go ahead and roll it over and check out the hull. Rolling it up on its side here, you can see they have their volume up in the front. And then you go down and you see how thin this is. This gets very thin from here to about two foot back. So all your volumes back here and it's very thin from that. Easy to pivot, turn, and turn in and out of eddies with. All right, so looking at the bottom here, let's check out the business. Starting back here, you know, you could see how they ran the edges all the way out to the very end, and then this edge runs all the way up, and it's a drop-down edge. You could see how this is slightly rounded, then drops down, just like the RMX, and then it comes out, and it's got a nice edge that runs all the way to a about maybe a foot from the bow. It looks like it fades out about right there. This is flat, by the way. This is a very flat planing surface. This is not a rounded potato, by the way. You can see how flat all of that area is there and how that kind of smooths off. That's what gives it that nice ability to bounce off of rocks and not get hung up in the front. Looking at the amount of rocker on this, your water surface seems to be about right here to right here. So it's a very short, and that's what gives it that ability to spin in and out of eddies because you got a lot of rocker in the tail and a lot of rocker in the bow. And it kind of gives it right in here the amount of water contact with you. So yeah, that's all I got on the hull. Let's roll it back over. You guys leave in the comments below what you think of this design if you paddled it. I've been using it off and on for around about maybe four weeks now. I have been really impressed. This is one of the better river running half slices I have. I will have a full on water review coming. I've let several other people paddle it and give me their opinions on it. My buddy Matt, he's around about 145. He got to paddle it and he'll give you kind of like a smaller person's perspective out of it. I'm around 180, so I think at 180 this thing is perfect as a river running half slice now like i said it's a river running half slice just to note that let's go get on the water i'll see you guys on the river Woo!